brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Hey, Debbie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. First, I'd like to say thank you for all the education you guys have given me over the last few months. It's been very helpful in my journey. I'm so glad. Thank you. (laughs) So here's my story. I got divorced about four years ago, uh, separated for it took took about four years to get divorced. I was married for almost 25. Oh, man. Um, So I've been navigating my life for the last couple of years trying to figure out what works for me. I was fortunate enough to get a nice alimony through my divorce, and I had my ex-husband had to give me a, a vacation home of ours that I sold for twice as much as what we valued it for. Oh wow! So I have one point six million dollars in the bank, okay, and I'm looking to build a house. And my financial advisor is telling me I shouldn't pay cash for my house, and I am just. Like, it's stressful for me. I don't know what the right thing is to do. And um, is he giving you a reason? Is he giving you a reason? What's his reason for that? He says it just doesn't make sense to take 37% of my money to build a house. Like, that uh, that it just doesn't make financial sense. And I haven't, you know, when I I was married, you know, my ex-husband took care of all of our finances. So... This is so new to me, and I and I listen to your show a lot, and I hear all the different things you know that that you guys say about what they claim. If the interest rates are lower, you're getting more for your money if it's invested. And again, right, right. I get super confused, and yep. so I just don't know. You know, I'm fifty. I'll be sixty in two months. Okay. You know, looking towards retirement. So, Debbie, what other uh, um, what other debt do you do you have any debt? I have no debt. Okay. Where? I what's your current home? Now. What's your current home valued at? I don't have a house right now. I live in an apartment. Okay. 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 And how much are you looking to, how much are you want to spend on this build? So the quote for the house is 630. And okay. you just want to plop down the cash, pay for it outright. And that be that. Yeah. And then do you have yeah. retirement? Do you have anything, any other savings? Well, I have the 1.6 million um, which would dwindle to 1 million else. which would you knock that right. down to 1 million right okay and right. <laughs> what's it what are you living off of right now like what's your so are you still working so i i i get alimony which is about sixty two thousand dollars a year tax-free okay um and then i have I'll call them my side gigs for my jobs that I absolutely love that I make about 25,000, which is I'm a nanny and I, okay. I truly love my job. Mm. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and, I'm, um, you know, that, again, I'm six, I'll be 60 soon. So I don't know how long all this is going to last as far as my income goes. Yep. But well, my alimony's lifetime. Alimony's yes. lifetime. Okay. <clears throat> I, so Debbie, your fina- well, I was gonna say your financial advisor is naturally always going to yield in the sense of investing your money, of course, because that's you know how most of them make money. And again, we're not mad at that. Right. There, you know, there is a time and a place to invest money, and that is a wise thing to do. But it's also really stupid, Debbie, in my opinion, to go and take out a loan for something that you have money for with a plenty of other money. You have a million dollars left over. <laughs> if you said you had a million dollars, you wanted to go buy a million dollar house, I'd say no, Debbie, we can't do that. But <laughs> You're spending six, yeah, you're gonna have a million dollars at 60 years old as a net worth uh, of just cash plus mm-hmm. a $600,000 paid for house. Mm-hmm. And if you invested that million dollars, Debbie, and you did that, you you know, for 20, 30 years, you're okay, Debbie. You have a paid for house. Uh huh. You have no bills. I know. That sounds so... I almost would just fire your me. financial advisor because I, I think you're on different pages. I think <laughs> yeah. I think the way they view money is in a in a very stereotypical way and again ramsey we're, we're known as being a little bit different in this arena anyways yeah. but um right. but from a mathematical standpoint this is not a massive risk you're gonna have a million dollars still still in a paid for house mm-hmm. and, and you know there's always there's always that equation of peace who wants to enter into retirement with a, with a mortgage, mortgage payment, payment? 
Right, right. That's, that's just again, more that you'll be, so that's free. more money you'll be pulling out of that investment anyway. I mean, it's going to get paid for regardless. So you may as well pay and for the, it up front. Yeah. And Debbie, the 630, that it, that's, that's everything, right? Land, build and all, correct? I've already bought the land. Okay. The land is already purchased. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's on a beautiful lake. Like I yeah. feel really special and fortunate. <laughs> yes. If I woke up in your shoes, I would definitely do this. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier, Debbie, and just to kind of give some clarity around it, um, you said you'd listened to the show and heard about interest rates and all of that. So one deterrent for people for paying off their house is they may have a low interest rate on their mortgage at two to 3%, right? Where in the market, you right. could be making 10%. So a lot of people say, why would you, you know, why would you take money that could be making 10% and pay off something that you're only paying 2%, if that makes sense. So people have that right. argument a lot. And mathematically, we understand that, like, right? We're not, we, we know that that is the math. But of what people don't put into the equation, number one is a level of risk. Whenever you carry any level of debt, even a mortgage, there is a level of risk in your life. You owe someone mm -hmm. something. And then the second, Debbie, is that they don't calculate and put into a formula, a spreadsheet, peace, like what Jade mentioned earlier. Right. That's right. This level of peace that you don't, again, you're not strapped to anyone. You are free and clear financially. And that is the most powerful thing that you can do. So Debbie, I, I'm so thankful you're listening to the show because I'm so sorry you went through this horrible divorce, but we talked to a lot yeah. of women who are in a similar situation that for the first time, they're kind of out on their own financially and they're having to learn mm -hmm. and all of this. So Debbie, if you stay on the line, Christian's gonna pick up and I wanna throw in Jade and I's book, both of our books. Yes. Um, to you just to continue, just to to learn and to, and to grow in this area because personal finance, it doesn't have to be, that complicated, mm -hmm. uh, but you do want good people in your corner. And I don't trust the advice of your financial advisor, if I were to be honest. I just think it's, you know, money is so much more. Sometimes we're just looking at the numbers and the dollars and the cents, but in this case, it really humanizes because it takes into account like our psychology and our emotions and the way we yeah. feel, not just a math equation. And so honestly, you're right. This is one of the one times where the math, it's not always about the math and how the math maths. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. Yep. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. But when it comes to debt and borrowing money, there is a truth that the borrower is slave to the lender. And when you are free of that, uh, it's an amazing thing what happens to your your body, your your soul, your mind when you don't owe anyone anything. So Debbie, I think you're in a really, to be, go through such a hard situation, um, you have a beautiful life ahead of you that I think you can do really well. And I think trust your guts because Debbie, you were right. How you're feeling, it's the way we would go to. So thanks for the call. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.